Welcome gamers to USC Counterforce. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to this one-off video, actually. I just wanted to sort of really present what the game has got. And I will be streaming this a little bit on my Twitch channel at various times. So uh, by all means, uh, bounce across there. There's links in the description. Uh, before I get started, a special thank you to anyone who does support the channel, whether that be through getting merchandise, again, links in the description, being one of the Patreons of the of the channel, um, all sorts of different ways, buying even buying games through my Nexus Game Store. All the links are in the description there, guys. So, uh, but thank you for, if you have sort of supported the channel in the past, and also just liking and subscribing certainly helps as well with the YouTube algorithm. This one-off video, what is USC Counterforce? Well, USC stands for Ultimate Space Commando. I think it's a, uh, Ultimate Space Commando. <laughs> I, before I started, I thought, actually, what does it stand for? But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And you, so USC was a game that came out maybe eight years ago, eight or nine years ago. And it was a very, very good game. The maps were procedurally generated. It was complex in, in a way that I guess turned people off the game. And the game itself was a little bit buggy to play. So there were some problems trying to get it to run. I know I certainly had issues with the game, but it was a game that I did enjoy a lot. Uh, and even before it came to Steam, I enjoyed playing it. So it had been around for a little bit of time. Anyway, USC Counterforce is the next generation, next iteration of that game. And this is so much better. Like it's got so much more polish, so much more content, just the whole style of it. It looks a lot better. Now, I will point right out from the very, very start. Some of you may have actually played the demo back a few months ago at time of at like, well, the time of launch now, it's July, late July of 2023. I think that the demo came came out around February, March, I think, and it didn't really have a very good um, tutorial. And I know that people actually had played the game, got very confused by it and didn't like it uh, based on the demo. This That's been corrected. The, the tutorial, I can say right now, the tutorial in this game is very, very polished. It's very quick, but it explains everything you need to know about how to play the game. So I would highly recommend the, um, the well, not just the game, but also to actually start off by playing the tutorial. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to be playing a single mission. The game as well, like if we just go, go back through, there will ultimately be a campaign. It says coming in the full release. This is early access, by the way. It's releasing into early access, which I do support. I like early access games. So it just means that you end up with a whole lot of um, development that happens, you know, where the community gets to have a bit of a say as to as to where games sort of head with things as well. And uh, I think that also the, um, the game is being developed by Angry Cat Studios, who I'm pretty sure Angry Cat Studios were the same same um, team of two developers that sort of uh, had worked on the on the first USC. But it's published by Fire Squid, and uh, I don't think that the Angry Cat had a publisher for the first game. I don't think that they did. I think they did that on their own. Which and I think that this is a, an instance where I think Fire Squid will actually be able to help a lot with just getting a bit of polish into the game as well over time. So um, I think that it'll be a good um, a, a, a good relationship between the publisher and the developer. I would hope. Anyway, so that's sort of what we're looking for there. The uh, the encyclopedia, we'll have a quick look at that as well. Very, very thorough, which is great. It really does sort of go through, you know, all of the basic sort of things. It shows how things actually work, where you can sort of jump over sort of like small, uh, small aspects. It does a very, very good job. This is why the tutorial and the information now, there really is nearly everything that you want actually in the game to be able to find your way through it. So... Just to get all of those sort of negative comments out of the way, if you've been, if you're doing any research in the game, you may have come across that the um, demo was not all that uh, well received because of that uh, problematic sort of uh, being able to people not really understanding how to play the game. So let's go in and play a single mission. Actually, sorry, we started off down in here. There will be a campaign coming. You know, much, much later on. There's a defend the base, which they did actually have in the original, which was quite cool, where you sort of build a bit of a base and then try to defend it against wave upon wave of aliens that will then attack you. It is actually a game where you only really fight against aliens, which is a bit of a shame, actually. It would be cool if it, if it ever got to the point where you could actually have other human and a sort of antagonists as well to then fight against. So I think that would be really, really interesting. But the difference between having like a, a, a human side attacking you and aliens attacking you is with the aliens, you can just set them to hunt and destroy. Whereas with the human one, you'd have to then sort of the AI would need a lot more programming, up, I guess. So I wouldn't anticipate that one coming. Um, not, in the, not in the near future anyway. I hope that they do do it at some point because I think that it would really, really make this game just absolutely exceptional if that was the case. 
Uh, okay, operations. This is where you string together single missions into sort of almost mini campaigns. So Sector Sweep is a two mission, two mission uh, game. Uh, Escape the Mines is a three mission one. So it's sort of the way that these are is that they're story driven within a within a procedural within procedural maps essentially. So it's still going to have certain aspects will, which would be in there, and then it sort of has like random componentry in amongst all of that in through the, that side as well. So that's actually fairly cool the way that that one does actually work. I'm going to be playing a single mission in this particular run through. It may take about an hour or so just just to go through it. So we've got different ways, we've got different sorts of map types going from uh, classic base, which is a fairly large but uh, tight base interior. Uh, you've got a, a main habitat, which is a large interior with open spaces and thin walls. Thin walls basically means that the aliens will be able to break their way through the walls, so you'd have to be a bit careful with that one. A deep mining facility is an ex excavation area with, with big open spaces. Mining tunnels is a tighter, more maze-like tunnel system. I think we might play that in this particular run-through. Uh, Research Outpost is a huge map with two separate buildings on the actual map itself, with aliens both inside and outside. And a forward base is on the planet's surface as well, which is um, a single building surrounded by the desert. And so these are things, again, where you've got very, very different ways of playing the game, and your loadouts may have to be different depending on what sort of, what sort of um, map you're going into. But let's go to Mining the Tunnel. Tunnels. Now we've got a, a deadline here. When you see this through this, this one, it's a, a deadline of 14 turns. Don't worry, you tend to have enough time, particularly I'm going to be playing on easy, which is about my level with these sort of games, to be honest. Um, it's, uh, it's a brutally difficult game, or it can be, so I'm going to be playing on easy. <laughs> which means we should win it, hopefully, but it is a fun game to play. Uh, you've got things like Seek and Destroy, where you actually have 29 turns, in this case, in the mine tunnel, to go and find all the alien life forms. There may be alien nests. Um, a nest is considered destroyed when its central gland is dead. And so this is sort of like a Seek and Destroy, where you actually are hunting out the aliens uh, in, in the actual mine system itself. 29 turns in that case. When you go to different things, like 25 for a base, etc., etc., the um, main mainframe data acquisition. This one, you've got to find the main mainframe, extract the data disk from it, and then return it to the insertion extraction point, where you have to extract the unit carrying the disk. When the data data disk is delivered from the area, the mission is considered successful. So you've got different things like that. You sort of side quests along the way as well when you when you do it. This one here is just purely to reach the extraction point. Actually, maybe we'll do this um, mainframe data acquisition. So we need to actually go and do this one here. So we need to find the mainframe, then extract the data disk from it, and and then return it. Uh, other one we have is Repel the Horde, which is like a defensive one. You've been ambushed and need to hold your ground until the last turn ends, so 10 turns, uh, with at least one bio-agent canister still, still active, uh, or eliminate all hostiles. This is one where you've got to protect like a, a cargo. Um, so uh, that's sort of where, where you are with those. But let's go with our mainframe data acquisition. That'll give us a, a mission to do during what we're doing. We're going to be playing on easy mode. You do actually have fog of war in through here as well, uh, which will turn on. Uh, joint de de uh, deployment, you can actually have this on or off. So um, this allows you to have multiple squads. The squads per players is, is like one, two, or one plus one. So squads have separate turns in two player mode. So there is actually a cooperative multiplayer as well that you can play. Uh, squad size either four or six, we'll just go with four. And uh, session type, this is sort of like your Iron Man type mode. Uh, so um, free manual saving and loading enabled, but you can actually sort of play from drill through to hardcore. All right, so let's just go and begin with this setup for the actual game itself. Oh, by the way, there were some rewards you get at the end of it, and that then is consistent with the force that you're taking in. Now, this is the group that we have. This is called Squad Kappa, but it can really be anything at all. Like if I go across into it and make a new squad, so warning all unsafe changes will be lost. You're about to create a brand new squad. You can create a new loadout for your current squad under squad specs. So we can do this one, but I'm just going to go yes. And... Um, we can then sort of see that we have the, the characters coming. I just wanted to very quickly go through what these are, but let's actually go and grab an existing squad and play with the existing squad. So in this case, if I go to car, for example, we then actually have, these are the squad specifics. We've got the um, the unit specifics. So for car, I can then sort of start to give him different stats and either endurance, agility, mental conditioning, melee combat, marksmanship, heavy arms. 
etc etc and it just tells me on the side here which is really quite nice again just the information that it does give you uh, so you can sort of figure out what you actually do need and so um, so you then you've got 20 skill points available you can also promote them for 5,000 of these squad points so if I promote him He's now a, a lieutenant commander, and he's now got 22 points, so I can promote him yet again and get 24. He's now an actual commander. And so this is how you then sort of can spread your points up. But we've now used 10% of our points just to give him a couple of extras, so you have to be a bit careful. Uh, you've then got different things, for example, like they do actually have a history down through this other side. Um, the service record as well won't have anything actually in it at this point in time but the idea is that you keep on playing with the same squad mission by mission by mission and uh and sort of let them sort of also then level up it's got things like for example like a, a voice pitch you know like from um Roger that. it'll sort of show up i've probably got it down a bit too Understood. yeah so you can sort of uh, see different things like it's goes from um from the voice pitch from uh from you know negative one so very, very deep, <laughs> whatever you want to do in, the, in through there as well. And again, you can just edit, edit the actual uh, people themselves. Uh, you have different equipment that you can buy, uh, ranging from, uh, well, this is just basic equipment, all sorts of different things you can sort of get in through here as well. Again, just costing you uh, the points. Ammunition as well. You've got a whole range of ammunition that you can go and get and different weapons as well Now it is easier just to start with an existing one. So let's just go across and load in one of the others. So I might just go in with um, Sample squad Omicron in through this side here. I think so. Let's just go and uh, load that one in now if it's currently being used in some sort of mission, then it'll mean that that mission will then sort of be considered, you know, a bit of a failure. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've just been playing with it on four missions, haven't finished anything at all. <laughs> so I just keep on sort of uh, bringing it into different missions as a bit of a test. <coughs> so this one actually has got like the, the characters have all got like the action points. They've got their... Um, armor points the armor is sort of like front and then side and rear so front armor is 47 side and rear is is 28 you can see there this is by far our most heavily armored uh, character uh, we then have our health again more health on this particular character morale is also higher but this one's using a melee weapon so this one is better decked out if we go and have a look and see what the unit specs are in this case we've got endurance agility mental conditioning and melee combat have all been given all the points for her and so uh, veronica is our melee and she's a lieutenant at this at this stage uh, weapons that she's got in fact it sort of uh, doesn't really matter what she's got because it's all down in through here a frontier axe uh, some uh, one frag grenade uh, extra armor plating to give her the extra armor uh, she's got uh, pack boots and these all cost these squad points we've got zero squad points at this particular mission at this particular point now if we go back to squad spe uh, specs back and through here and I'll, I'll go through these when we're in the game but typically the rest of these guys are just going to have other sorts of skill sets like high agility, heavy arms. This one's is good with heavy arms, good with field expertise. Uh, Jensen is good with uh, electrotechnics, so this will be important for extracting what's required. Uh, this one here is good with marksmanship as well. Uh, again, agility, just to give it more action points and endurance. And then Davis has got good agility as well. Uh, good marksmanship, good biochemistry. So she's our doctor, essentially. So we've got uh, the, the doctor in through here, the technician back in through this other side, the uh, the heavy arms in this way, and then the melee melee fighter and main sort of, I guess, going to take the most of the actual uh, damage for the actual team itself will be will be her. And, and typically, if you're sort of un if you're worried about you know how to set these things up, there is a, a really nice help file that does actually give you information about that one. So let's go and use this particular mission. So we'll, sorry, this particular team. If we go back to squad specs, we also then have different sorts of loadouts where you can see we've got no points left with this one through here, nuclear and turret, there's 30 hit points left over, or 30 squad points, sorry, left over. And so it just changes what sort of weaponry they actually then bring in, depending on what you go with. This is the acid plus mines plus grenades. Uh, and then this one's using like a cryo cannon and through this other side. But I'll just go with base, which is sort of like your, your um, this one here, they've named it base so that they essentially have it for usual type base attacks. So let's just go that way. Again, different sort of weapons do different sorts of things as well. So let's just go and begin our mission. Morning, yep. It's already in progress, that's okay. 
So it's now trying to figure out how to draw the map and sort of set everything else up for us. Now remember, we're playing in the mines. We've, we've got to find the uh, the data. So we do have to sort of run into different rooms and see where we are. Find the central mainframe, extract the data disk and return it to an insertion extraction point. The mainframe is likely to be located somewhere in a lab uh, on in the opposite corner of this area. So we're down in here. We're likely to find the lab up in through here somewhere. Uh, we'll just click on OK. Now, we're facing the bottom of the map through the side, other side. So we'll just go and grab Nichols, who is our um, our main melee person. We'll just get them initially. Actually, who have we got there? That's Hernandez with the big gun. Actually, I'll move Hernandez in. It works in action points. So I can sort of zoom in as well. It is fully 3D, but you, the, one of the problems with the game is there's no... Well, I certainly haven't found a, a way to change the camera angle. I wish I could. I wish I could sort of have more of a three-quarter view. You do actually see what they see through their through their um, viewfinder, but again, the field of the field of view should be much much wider. I pr much prefer to see this much more of a um, a wider view than what we see through these. It's sort of I almost wish I could control what we see through this other side, but you don't. Uh, he's armed with, of course, with his main his main weapon here is the minigun i can i can actually go and again the game tells you everything you need to know right ma right um, mouse button to mark applicable targets or, to, or, or uh, to to use or to cancel usage right mouse button on another suitable slot to, sp to split split off so if i wanted to move that back into further into his um, into his his kit i could get rid of that and put something else in there at the moment this has been right clicked on the minigun if i unselect that one it then disappears if I then just go back and select it again. So if I just go and right click, I've just used up a few points, which I shouldn't have really done. Let's just go and open the door. It's gonna take me four points to do that one. And we're now going into here. Now it looks like we've got a rock wall through that side. Uh, let's move Hernandez up. And if we just go and have another look through this way. Now this is interesting for us because um, we've got in front of us like a big crate uh, this, in fact, if you hover up, you can see metal crate, integrity 100 out of 100, and it's a high crate. This one over through here is a fenced artifact back and through that side, which is um, like it's been fenced off, but it's only a low fence. It's just telling us it's like low. This one is full, and we can see it there in front of us. So to move this one out of the way, I can either push it forward or pull it back, one of the two. And this is what we have over through here. Mark an object to it so you can currently push. Now we should be able to, um, I might pull it back just so we can sort of run around the corner. So let's go and um, let's go and pull this one. Um, let's go and pull that one back a little bit. And then he can't actually, he can move to there. And I'm guessing if we move up to that side, we can then pull this one back a little bit as well. So just move, move it back into there. That way we're now going to be able to move around. He hardly has any more action points. So let's actually leave him out of this now and we'll get Nichols. Yes, and so Nichols is now going to move through. There we go. I love this as well. Like it's, it's sort of funny. It would be so cool just to have a bit of an, a different angle that it then does sort of show. Um, now I'm just going to keep on sort of having a bit of a look. Oh, there we go. We've actually now come across an armored reaper who was standing in behind this particular location. Now Nichols is down to um, is down. He's still got 36 hit points. I'm going to try to do a battering strike, which will do a debilita debilitating attack. It's going to take 10. Now there's no retaliation strike really coming back from here, but we can, we can see through here, this Armored Reaper is ravenous. It's a demolisher. It's got strong life stealing attack, can open doors and it's got a, it's tranquilizer resistance. So we can't tranquilize it. Also the bars that we see above, similar to what we've got through here is front armor, rear armor. So it's slightly easier to hit from the rear, but not much. And it's, this is its health bars. Similarly, back in through us, we've got like our armor back in through there, sort of our, how our morale actually is, and then our hit points down below that one. Now I'm gonna have a whack at him just to see if I can actually sort of do some, some of this debil debilitating strike. So I'll go and uh, I'm gonna uh, select the ax, and then I'm just gonna go with the battering strike in through here. Yep, so that's now, we did 15 damage to him actually, so it, but this is going to be a big beast for us to sort of get through. What I want to do is I want to get to a point where I can then do other shots um, against this one. So I want, to, I, want the, I want to use Nichols who has, you can see there, the armor is better on Nichols than anybody else. Now I've still got 26. If I move back into 
the other locations. It's 21 to get to there. I'm going to need to have at least 10 left over. Now, if I go for another hit, that would still actually work. That's a battering strike. I don't really need the battering strike anymore. Like, there's a bleeding hit, a bleeding per hit was going to be 15. The lunge is only going to be 12. Um, yeah, we're going to do more damage if we do, do the battering strike, and then the chop is even less again. So let's go and do another battering strike. So another 36. So we're hardly doing any damage to it. Like, it's very, very strong. So its health is still at about 90%. I'm now going to move... Nickels... Actually, this is not... I shouldn't have done that. But I'm still going to do it. I'm just going to turn Nickels around. It's free to, to look. I wanted to keep enough for going into defensive mode, but I, it's probably going to be more important that I actually have it so that I can actually do some shots if this when this thing comes around the corner. So let's go and cr uh, crouch down. That allows my units to then fire over the top. Now, unfortunately, our heavy gunner has already sort of had has had his turn. Uh, Jensen is armed with a sniper rifle, which will do a lot of damage, but won't be enough to really do enough damage in through here. Then we have a shotgun. So let's go and use the shotgun through here with Davis. Davis is also our medic. And uh, I'm just going to put Davis into defense. And Davis is now going to fire at any movement through any of these. I'm just going to go to double barrel so that we end up with doing as much damage as possible. Um, sniper can't really do anything. So we'll just leave that one th through there, and then we'll just end our turn there. So we'll um, now, when it's their turn, that will then sort of come around the corner again, and then Davis should fire over the top, hopefully. So any activity at the moment, and there's some. I'll try to break through walls. And he's now attacking uh, Nichols. So Nichols took a fair bit of damage there. Now Nichols is um, has got. Uh, we're down to 219 of 250 health points. I'm going to now right click on the first aid kit. I'm going to now go and heal up Nichols. That gives Nichols back all of the hit points at this stage. Uh, armor is okay as well, I think, on nickel. So let's just go across into here where we've got 43. I'm going to stand up. I can now hit it from the rear, which will make it a little bit easier. I'm going to go and do another one of these battering strikes. That was 68 damage. There we go. We're now starting to get it a little bit. It's down to 70, about 70% 70 health. Now, Nichols is, we'll just keep it going here for a little bit longer. Engaging it's working out well, and we've only got um, 11 points left. So if I hit this one now, I've got to be careful because um, if we do actually hit it, now how are we going there? That's actually still got everything it requires. If I shoot it Roger. here, like if I go and use this one through this side, I'm going to more than likely actually hurt Nichols as well. So I'm going to run Nichols around this other corner and just get the protection so the other guys can then start to fire at this beast and finish it off with um, with other other weaponry. Let's go to Nichols. Turn that one off and just move back into there. That's so why we deal with this particular alien. So you can see there this... We can see the tail uh, of, like Nichols can see the tail waving around when he's eventually when she does look around that way. So we're just seeing the tail off to the side. Davis can see the front of the alien back and through this other side. And so we've got double barrel, single barrel is going to do basically the same sort of deal. 82%, 82% through there. But I think we do need to, in fact, I might even hit this one from the rear. So let's go and grab Davis. And... Um, just move across into here where we've got 40. In fact, I could even sort of... Um, you should need to do it here. That way we're actually firing it from the, from the rear. There we go. And not enough to kill it, but we did a lot of damage to it. Okay, that one's down now. So Alien is down. That's good. So we've now got that one. Davis still has uh, 20 hit points. And... Um, yeah, we did take a bit of damage there, I think, in the armor. 
So what I want to do is, uh, now this is, uh, sometimes, actually I'll just go and get rid of that one through there. Sometimes this will be then hazardous, but in this case it's not. So Davis still has 20. Let's just go and uh, go into defensive mode and we'll just crouch. Actually, I'll just go back out of, out of defense. We'll crouch, look back this way. And um, you know, what have we got? We've got 16. If I move to there, it's still 13. I, I will do that and just go into defense. So if this door opens, then uh, Davis is going to come, is going to be able to then fire through. Do the same thing with our sniper. Precision shot will be okay. So we'll just go and um, put that one into defensive mode as well. And then we've got Hernandez, who we didn't really get to, to move any, anywhere. So I'll just move Hernandez back into here. Nothing for Hernandez to really get up to. So we'll just go and end our turn there. So there's things happening to the walls inside. So there's more aliens that we have to then go and deal with. All right, so still 38%. So the alien activity, they're still moving around. Here we go. Now we've shot at it. And they're smashing into nickels. All right, so Jensen didn't really get a good shot uh, with the precision shot through here. If we have a bit of a look, you can sort of see that we don't quite get to move anything. But if we move back to here, I can then start to fire at this one. So let's just go and do that. Only a graze. That one's down. We still have to heal up Nichols as well. So we need to go back into here. Give back the 80 hit points. We're, up to two, we're down to 245, but that's actually okay. We've got this one through here, which is uh, the skitter. Now, these actually create little babies, and even when they die, they, they do the same thing. Let's go and get Nichols across into here. And um, we'll just do one of these attacks. And I'll do a battering strike there as well. So these have both been battered. And... Um, uh, which means that they're essentially going to be not as effective with their next attack. Now, we can still actually... We should be able to kill this one off. Kill yep, that one's down. Now, Nichols is down to 18 hit points. Sorry, 18 um, uh, t time units or um, action points. So I do want Nichols... I want to, I want to finish this one off. Uh, let's move... Um, and Andy's in with the with the with the mini gun, and we should then actually we're going to have to move these around. Standing by. Now we're still ducking down through here, so we can sort of then just go and fire over the top at the alien that's that's in there. So we'll just go across with um, with Jensen, and uh, we've got a focused fire, so we'll just go and do that. Actually, no, we can't do it. Let's just move you off. Now we can do it. Now that one got killed, but then a small one now appeared underneath there. Now we're down to, we need to reload, and we've basically got no more action points. Okay, let's move the sniper across. Finish that one off. Good, okay, so um, now we've got, uh, Veronica is now about as much as what we can do through there. We've still got... Um, action points available for more defense back and through this side, so we'll just defend this way. We'll get uh, Nichols to um, to go down. That'll be 14 left, and then go into defense. Now, when a melee fighter goes into defense, it means that they defend better, uh, which, is, uh, which is important. So we'll just go and do that. Uh, we've still got 44 there with Davis. So I'll stand up and we'll just look over the top again of the crouching the crouching soldier. So soldier crouched in, crouched in front. Let's just go and, and do the fence in through there. That'll do. There we go. That one's gone. That's probably going to give... Um, often they, they leave radioactive things about there. There we go. Now that's that one's the one that explodes. That was good. cause bigger issues. But now we've got hazards uh, left over from that particular one. 
Yes, yeah, see, not much damage was done with that. Comes another one. Okay, we've been uh, we've been affected here. We've got been sort of like poisoned, so we've um, and we've got a bit of bit of poison build up in through here as well. We've got ten poison build up uh, with nickels. Now. Um, We're out of bullets. Okay, that one's down. That one's down as well. That's good. All right, so uh, what else have we got that we can do through here? So we're down to nine, which means we're not going to be able to do anything much with that one. So we'll just move that one around. Might reload again as well. And then we've got Jensen through this side. So we just need to keep everything going from when that one exploded. Uh, let's just move on up. There's another one there. Focused fire. See, there's not much ammo. There's not much um, uh, armor missing. Got him. There's still more that may come down this other way. Now we've only got 13. Let's just put it into defensive mode. Um, it's hazardous. This radioactive pool. Uh, where we are, there's no hazards in through there. Then we've got fire hazards, which we have to be careful of. So I'm just going to leave. Um, I'm going to leave Nichols where she is, and we're just going to go back into defence. She doesn't actually get to have a shot at anything. We've got um, now that one's in defence. Or we come back up. So to get across this one here, if I go to there, I can walk around there, or I can just jump over. stand up first yep oh, I've got another one now now this one here is um, this one's actually weaker from the front it's like a sniper type thing ravenous life stealing attack explodes on death and immune to fire let's go and hit it once Now it does explode on death. What are we down to? We're down to 26. Understood. Now we're down to 16. I can still crouch down and uh, go back into defensive okay. mode. Um, we are. We do actually have a defensive mode in there if, if it does move across. I don't know if that'll be enough to finish it off. Orders. Yeah, we've got 13 points left over, which is not really enough for us to do anything. Jensen's already had had their turn, so we'll just go and um, go into defensive mode in here as well. Holding position. And I will actually just a toggle friendly fire lock off, just to make sure we do get a shot in there. If we do have to do it. Actually, we should, I should have not, shouldn't have done that. I should have uh, first of all gone in and um, healed up Nichols again, and then gone into defensive mode. Right here we go again. So this thing here is a bit of a problem. We're still taking poison damage in through this side. Let's go and stand up. We're going to have to jump past this one. Now the fire is starting to go out. Um, there's a door access console down through there, but um, I don't think that's going to do anything for us. We can actually move around there. Uh, up through here is like a major area that we can that we got a bit of a vision on before. Let's head back up this way because we have to find our way through. It's a hydrazine pool, which is flammable. Doesn't that's so I'll, I'll just avoid it. Um, 
Not sure if we'll have to deal with anything back up this other side. Let's just get the others across. So also now needs healing. Orders. Jump across that pool. Copy that. All right, so there's another one there. It doesn't have any protection from behind. This is the um, this is the sort of like you know the pattern that it can then use. It uses a star pattern to to attack. Uh, or if we go to scatter, it then gives me a sort of other other abilities. Now 31, I still can't get it, so I'm going to move back. Yes, sir. And then we'll just sort of aim out this other side just in case anything does sort of come back through. There's another one up the top there as well. That we've now seen. So we'll uh, just go and uh, set this one up as a def in defence. Um, go and get this one out of here. Oops, hang on. We want to get to there. Then we want to jump. Standing by. Roger that. And put that one into defensive mode as well. So we're now covering these at least little areas. And then Jensen can now blow this thing up. Because now everyone's far enough away that the, the when this thing explodes, it won't really matter that much. There we go. That's good. Now, we don't know if anything else will come out at this other side. So um, what we might just do is we'll just turn off, the, off that for a second. There's nothing hazardous now all the way through to here. So let's just move across. There's another passageway over this other side. And we're seeing like a there's pipes that sort of then show other corridors that sort of then lead through the uh, other side back over through there as well. So I don't think we need to do much there. I'll just um, Roger that. move this one back just in case something does come back this other side, but I don't think that they will. Just go into and point this way and um, just go into defensive mode. So we're now going to be protecting that particular area with the uh, with the sniper. And then we can just end our turn there. Actually, we'll just cancel that. Who can still move? Reporting. Nichols. Okay, so Nichols, we want to move up just to protect the other units. We then want to duck down just so they can fire above the, uh, over the top of them and um, then go into defensive mode there. Now, Davis... Just make sure that we've got friendly fire, allow friendly fire just in case we have to. And um, we'll now end our turn there. Didn't have enough action points to, to damage us. More poisons. Yep, so we've got 12. Now that is, it's got a spit attack, uh, it's got no armour on the back. This one's got also got no armour as well. Roger. That's too close for us to hit, but if I go to here, it won't be. Let's go to focused fire just so we don't damage things around it. That one's now down. Okay, we're out of ammo. We'll just do a reload. And I can actually focus fire on this one as well. That one's down as well. That was a nice, easy shot. Okay, um, we're down to 22 action points with that one there. Now, I don't know if any of these pills are going to help me. This is a Biomax... Um, yeah, so it's for uh, radiation. That's a morale stimulant. And this one's just a basic health. We don't actually have a uh, like a, an anti um, anti poison uh, thing. Um, yeah, so this deals direct damage to health. 
not decay over time at all unless treated. So maybe we can treat it if we go and have a look. Okay, so effective category healing biochemistry. This one here is instantly recovers health, morale, and bleeding. This is uh, health, morale, bleeding, and tranquilized tranquilization buildup, which I think is separate again. That's shadow energy, cryo, poison, acid, fire. That's tranquilization there. So that's different again. So I don't think that the medic has got anything that will actually help with this. Oh, here we go. That's a bioactive antitoxin. Um, instantly decreases poison buildup by 40. Okay, let's go and we've got six of these. So let's go and right click on that one and then just administer that. So that's now taken away from Nichols, no longer has the uh, poison buildup with what's going on. It's quite involved, actually, the game, isn't it, really, when you look at it? And do we just make sure that we've got the you've still got the pistol, the sorry, the uh, the shotgun selected? All right, Nichols, back on your feet again, and um, we do need to go off and start to find other things. Now, that looks like a some sort of uh, cargo area potentially. Let's just go this way and have a bit of a look. I don't know what that is. It's uh, another part of the base. Oh, okay. Been killed, and if we just we can get a shot from over here. Now that's hydrazine barrel, which is volatile; it'll explode. It's a, just a wall in through that other side. And Nichols still has thirteen there. Holding position. Just get the defence sort of happening from that side. That's more of a corridor. We might test that and sort of see where that one actually does go. Then we'll get our medic across 29. That'll give, still give us a shot. The shot's going to take uh, 10. Yes, sir. Out of ammo. Oh, reload. Hopefully this won't damage us. Blew up those things, start to blow through the through the wall as well. Just do another reload. Actually, we don't have enough action points for that one. Reporting. Okay, that's a hazardous radioactive pool that's actually now been left over there. Let's go and bring this one back. So there's nothing much else through that other side. Uh, there may be something up through the other side there as well. Now we can uh, procure hydrazine. That will then put this will then just collect it. So five of those just start to sort of move up and have a bit of a look around. And then we've got Jensen as well. We'll move Jensen up. I'm on it. And um, I'll then put Jensen into a defensive mode. Just in case anything comes through there. I think we'll be okay this side with Nichols. So we're now sort of making our way through this random base. <laughs> or random mines. Here we go. Uh-oh. Got attacked from behind. So there was another one behind, behind Hernandez. Big attacks coming in now. All right, so everyone's bleeding and poisoned. <laughs> it's not an easy game, guys. It's not an easy game at all. I'm just looking at the time. I have gone well over. It's still a long way off. We still haven't found the mainframe yet. Now, I could run at this point, or I can try to sort of do whatever we can in through this site. Um, Standing by. Hmm. Not 
doing enough there. Standing by. Understood. Engaging enemy. Attack. God, we're just not doing enough. Enough damage. He's down. But we now have lots of people now with uh, prob health problems. Not going to be able to do much over the other side there. Dead end there. Going to reload and fire again. We're out of action points, unfortunately. So, un unfortunately, Hernandez is going to um, have a difficult time here. Um, there's really nothing I can do. I don't have any more action. Actually, I've got Jensen. But we can't get across that. Actually, maybe be able to get a shot. Let's just move across. Okay, that one's down. That's good. All right, so that's uh, saved a day. For yes, now, <laughs> temporarily. Uh, then we've still got these guys coming, but no, we've got no more action points left now. Nichols is just going to have to bite the bullet here. We want to be facing the right way, so we'll um, we'll end our turn. Now Davis still does have. Might just put Davis into defensive Only mode. Position. I don't think Davis can sort of do much there. I'll just just cover these just in case they end up over this way, but I don't think they will. Oh, they did. All right, the other one didn't actually go go for us. Okay, we've got more poisons back over this side. Let's just grab that hydrazine and uh, race back again. Affirmative. Reporting. Yeah, a huge fire, fire explosion on death, so we want to move away from that. Reasonable protection. So I'm going to I'm going to smack it once with this guy. Battering strike. Okie dokie. So it's now been battered. Uh, we've still got another one at the top there. So let's just move this one away now. Actually, I could still do another one there if I needed to. Engaging enemy. It's not doing much, is it? But to get it weak enough so that the um, now if I do that one, I've only got ten points left. I think I'll take it. Let's get out of here. And then you've got a shot. There we go. Blew it all. Blew up that area. That's done. Um, now 28, let's just go back up to here. Go into defensive mode. And it was up this way. We, we were sort of expecting to see things coming. You know, we still have Hernandez as well. I don't know what else, where that other one came from. He must have been hiding in here, I'm guessing. So I'm thinking we're actually okay. Okay. 
Let's just put him on defense as well. End our turn. Now we're up to two. We've done two, eight turns out of 17. They come again, and that one's been killed with the sniper. Oh, we do have some behind us. Now, Hernandez is also poisoned, so we do have to get uh, the poisons off him as well. Okay, there's a lot more that have now followed through. They must have come up through this other side. Well, I think we just keep on moving up. Um, Roger. Roger that. And then through this other side in here. Target hit. Target hit. It's not killed yet. So we'll just go and um, put that one into defensive mode. Holding position. And we have to destroy both of these. Now, um, Davis with the big gun. Sorry, the, no, it's this one here is the sniper. Yeah, we can precision shot that one. I should kill these on the, on the way through, I think. Now we've got scatter fire. Where I can actually sort of do a bit of damage to all of these. Oh, we just uh, hit that barrel and, and blew ourselves up. We're now on fire. Can't fire, unfortunately. Roger that. It's gonna hurt. Now we need someone with water, and the only one I know of with water is Nichols. Fire and acid neutralizer. Um, I've only got one collection of that too. So Hernandez is now on fire. You can sort of see the flame sort of uh, coming from his side of things. No problem. Out of ammo. Reload. Firing wildly, but no, no real. Fire. We're out of out of uh, movement there as well. Oh no, we're out of out of ammo. We should still be okay. Here we go. Okay, that one's down. That's good. All right, I think that sort of saves us down this way. It's only now Hernandez that's really in trouble. on Nichols. Oh, Hernandez really struggling here. Nichols has got the ability to stand in these sort of fights. Yeah, taking fire and poison damage. Well, we're going to have to come back. Put the fire out. Now, um, I hope we can stand there, unfortunately. Status critical. Hernandez is going to have to come back in a little bit, away from these other bugs. Affirmative. Out of ammo. Reload. Oops, missed and hit Nichols. Put that one down. And uh, we'll have to just stay back a little bit here and just put
put into Nichols into defensive mode. Now his his health is really really bad, so we need to get um, Davis back with a few things actually. So first of all, need to get the bio treatment, get rid of all of that, and um, then heal up whatever we can with the hit, with the points in through there, with what we've got there. Let's now move this one around. And put that one into defensive position. mode as well. I'm hit. I'm on it. Should we just take it off defense. You don't lose anything by going in and out of defense. Just heal up Nichols. And go back to defense again. And put you into defense as well of Nichols. So Nichols is now protecting. Actually, we want to get Nichols crouching and then go into defense. So the others can then fire over the top. Now, Jensen, um, still got seven bullets there. So I'll just go back this way. we go. If it comes through there, we'll, we'll get it. Actually, I'll just go back and go one deeper. Holding there we go. Pick up a few extras. All right, end our turn again. It's now a hazardous uh, thing there. Enemy down. That was down as well. That's good. Okay, that was good. So Jensen was in the perfect spot there. Now we've still got Davis is also slightly poisoned, only with four. It's not too bad. Need to reload. One's down. Now we've got Hazardous there. There's no other way through. I think we have to now move our way up through here. So we've still got a fair bit to do. <laughs> we've only got a handful of turns left to do it. So I'm going to go and um, I'm going to go and set uh, Nichols up to stand up. We'll then jump across into here and start to come around. We're going to have to make a bit of a run for it now. I think. Where is this data area? Yes, sir. Not in there. Okay, we're not finding much that way. We just I think we're gonna have to just Roger. go for a bit of a run now. Hmm. Jump across the um, no across that bit of it. Doors then down that way. Okay. And is can't jump as far as Nichols can. Affirmative. So we just had a phone call. Okay, so we can sort of uh, head on down. Now we don't know exactly what's where uh, with any of this stuff, so let's just keep on having a bit of a look. Yeah, that didn't extends across. Um, I might split up my team a little bit here, actually, so you can get free looks. Like looking around doesn't sort of matter much. It's just the, the where you end up sort of uh, facing actually does. This may be the data area, actually, just looking at it. And Jensen is the one that's got the. If we look at the skill set has got the electrotechnics. So I'm, I might bring Jensen into this room. Understood. That looks to be the data room. room. So extract the data pads, there we go. So we've now extracted that. So Je so he's now got the encrypted data pad. So um, now we extract, to extract from the mission area. So that's all that there was. There's another one over here. 
and we don't have enough action points left to uh, to do that one through there. Okay, so that one, this one was where we needed to be. That's good. Now we have to find the extraction point, which must be further up where these guys are heading. So uh, we'll end our turn in here. Everyone has pretty much had their turn. Actually, before we do that, before we do that. So um, sleeping uh, apparition. So we need to, primary objective is the mainframe data acquisition. Sec secondary objective is none. That's actually okay. So we've got all those things done. We've, only got, we've got six turns remaining, which is actually heaps. Um, let's click on yes. I think, the, I think any one of these can pick it up. Here's more aliens now moving around. Nichols is up there. Nichols will be able to finish these off. And then we can just find our way back out again. So now there's something in there trying to break its way through the rock. Uh, let's go and grab this one as well. So we've now picked up both of those. And let's get out of here. Actually, what we might do is we just bring Hernandez down no this way. to double check yes, that there isn't anything down this way that we need to be aware of. There's a locked door there, but I don't think it's going to be where we need to get out. So I think that's just um, part of the random map. The random maps aren't bad, I've got to say. Like they're, um, they're much better than the original game. Reporting. Now, Jensen, you need to get out of here. Davis, you need to escort him. down that's good got three of them in here so we've got a little bit of a little bit more movement this way uh, 23 that still allows me to get an, a shot if you need to do a reload and we're down to 16 I can just put in into defense there just to look after those Nichols you go in with your uh, attacks that one's down now that's a hazardous pull so to get across the other side we do this we then jump across and we've still got enough action points here to um, to get involved. Engaging enemy. Attack. Another hazardous pull. Now I've only got six so let's just move back a little bit in here. Can't do anything else there. Okay, then we've got Jensen. Um, let's move up the top. So we've cleared out a lot of the uh, a lot of this mine area now. Nichols is still okay. Still aliens around. This looks like there's still a few of them. We're bleeding. Um, let's go and finish this one off. Now, if we go back to Nichols again, if I did a jump, actually, you know, I still want to kill it off. The others can all walk around the other side, that's, which is okay. Then we jump. This one can, Nichols can jump double distance, so we can move away from those. Then we have to find our way out, which uh, should be in the top corner up through this other side. Understood. Understood. Affirmative. No, it's not. It's not. All right, that looks like it must be back down the other way or in here somehow. Um... Bring Davis down this way. Now that's a hazardous area. Just grab that as a bit of loot. Hmm. Affirmative. Nothing there. Understood. Need to find a different way through. Now the hack tools are all with um, Jensen. Now they won't. I don't think they'll have the extraction point where we've got to hack our way through. Uh, he'll have hack tools in through here, quick hacker. 
to get through these sorts of doors. I can't see that being the way out. It's got to be. It's got to be up in here somewhere. So we need to find our way through, which means coming all the way back down into here again. Yes, sir. Yep. So we'll just start to sort of make our way through. Uh, then we've got, uh, so now we are in a bit of a scramble to, uh, to get out of here. Yes, sir. So Hernandez is right there. Oh, there's another, th another one right there. Okay, let's just go to defensive mode. And hopefully that will work out okay. Alright, end our turn. spawning little baby ones all over the place. <laughs> it really is like Alien, isn't it? All right, so Nichols is in a dead end there. Now, if we, we could have explosives to blow our way through the walls, but um, we don't in this instance. Yes, sir. So Nichols making her way through. Davis needs to get down to where these guys are. Roger that. Yeah, I'm gonna blast these. Shot there. I'm hit. Need to reload. to run with Jensen. Understood. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, we've got a big one here. Um, yes, sir. We have to deal with that one, that big one. So we'll um, set this one up, defensive oh, mode, and then just look out for when this thing does come through. This is a Reaper, like one of the bigger aliens. do anything. Down to just a handful of turns left now. Jeez, poor old Hernandez is really copying it here. down and there's another big one as well <laughs> okay we're in trouble I think we're dead I think we are dead okay Nichols come on Roger. long way away Now we do have grenades. Not with uh, not with this one though. Roger. But this one does. Just going to right click and blow these up. Throwing grenade. Blew that one away. Uh, did actually destroy the other one. Let's go and that's all we've got with that one there. Um, Oh, 
reload. God, we're just not doing this at all. We're out of points now. Yes, sir. Let's get her into there. Um, yeah, Hernandez is gone, so we're uh, in trouble. Jensen, you need to take this one out. That's all we can do this turn. So it looks like we're going to... Oh, that one died of bleeding. Come on, Davis, you can do it. Still aliens. We, I, think we're, um, I think we are really now in trouble. We didn't make it through. We took the wrong, wrong avenue. <laughs> She died of her wounds. Orders? Roger that. Well, we'll see if we can still run out after this. Attack. Okay, that one's down. All right, Jensen, make a run for it. Forget about it. Just run past them. Understood. Dead end. No, maybe not. Maybe not. No, it is. Okay, that's, that's the way out. But there's more aliens. Um, all right, so not going to really make it easily. Nichols, you need to try to get there as well. Roger that. So we're in trouble here. All right, end our turn. So <laughs> if we can just find a way out. They um somehow destroyed themselves. Hazardous, so we have to jump across that. God, how do we get out of here? We we'll have to run through the, through them like this. Yes, sir. Let's just do it. God, there's aliens ev absolutely everywhere. That's got to be the way out. Don't have enough to open it. Okay, hopefully we survive. Standing by. Okay, Nichols, you're gonna have to do the same Roger thing. That. This is on easy, by the way. <laughs> yes, sir. Hopefully Nichols can sort of uh, take a bit of the a bit of the attention. Jensen's got the data. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Poisoned. 
and um, also eroding with acid. There we go. Nichols is down. And we're all down. <laughs> the forces have been defeated. Mission failed, unfortunately. I think that that was the way out. was right there, I think. If you click on OK, do we see anything? So, um, yeah, we didn't do too well there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. But I do know I know do know that you guys do like to see me lose. So there we go. I'll give you that one. I'll give you a loss uh, uh, rather than sort of re replay it. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Statistics wise, what do we end up with getting? We've got total damage dealt to hostiles. Jensen, um, yeah, total confirmed hostile. So Jensen did the most actually. Actually, did a hell of a lot there uh, with the sniper rifle. Total damage received from hostiles was Nichols, which we expect. Inflicted property damage, Davis and Hernandez. Total damage dealt to friendlies from Hernandez. Uh, total assists, yeah, so a few extras in there. Nichols got seven assists. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll just go back into the next panel. Yeah, mission failed. Um, yeah, we eliminated 39, but there was a lot of them left there. I wish it would show the map. Uh, so we just go back to the menu and we're back again. Uh, but that is uh, just a single mission as, as an example of USC Counterforce. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for watching. This one does come out basically immediately. So if you're watching this one, have a look on Steam. Um, very, very cool game, as you can sort of see through there. It's, it's quite an involved, quite a... Quite a um, yeah, it's quite an interesting game anyway. I didn't I didn't think we'd have to rush around like that at the end there. I thought we were going to be able to find our way through. I think that the map did screw us over in a little bit with that, with that rock wall that sort of went all the way through the middle. Anyway, guys, I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.